darkest foundations. We unearthed that damnable portal into Deluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. <laughs> it is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. All right, we're back. I don't know why I'm playing this right now, but uh, we're gonna try to run this shit back. It was a fucking disaster last time. Hey, Zal. You know where he's... What, is our title wrong? No, that's fine. Lost Belt 6 waiting room? What if, what if Lost Belt 6 isn't even soon? Like, what, what if it's at the end of the month? Okay, oh my, I'm so pissed. I, I fucking hate this game. I, my, my desire to play this game just like died last night with Cairo, apparently. <clears throat> okay, well, we have a new highwayman that we got a name. So who wants to be up on the chopping block next, eh? Lost Belt 6, yeah, they meant June of next year, clearly. All right, we got Shadow, got uh, Fun, hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll wait a minute, because hardly anyone's in chat right now. So I think just, we'll just wait a second and uh, let's see, what what's our situation here? Pretty bad. Get that boss we never killed. We need to do the runs. We need to do a lot of things. Um, hmm. God, I'm so pissed off. I don't, I don't, I don't want to see this game. It's, it's, it's showing its face in here. Like it owns the place. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if I want to do a low B stage or a higher end stage. We really need to do the runs. I guess we do this one. Let's see. Who's our other healer? Let's go with a cultist. Had my own Fujino disaster. Feels bad, fishy. Hey, True, how you doing? Yeah, we seem to be having new positions opening up rapidly. Uh, <clears throat> let's go with let's go with Rabbit. All right, this is a decent team, I feel. All right, off we go. Try to bring a decent amount of supplies. I've got to look at artifacts, kind of forgot to do that. Right. Well, when in doubt. Uh, we'll go with this. I'll bring an extra torch. Two extra torches, that'll save me. Man, can F go, like, announce something? That'd be great. 
It's just the rerun for the summer event is lasting so long, so it's just such a long period of no news. It kind of sucks. Maybe the... the halls of your lineage once familiar. Hmm. But maybe they, they did that to buy themselves time to finish up Lost Belt 6, right? Am I being optimistic right now? Fourteen health. Let's just kill one that we know we can kill. Um, why couldn't you do that to the boss yesterday? I really felt the lack of crits then, man. Six damage. That's not great. He can't use his- oh, he's not in the front because the corpse! I was gonna say he can't do the goblet toss if uh, he's in the front, but he's not in the front because of the guy's skeleton there. And look, and his turn starts over and he gets to go first. You just get 40 panic out of nowhere. It's totally fair and reasonable. I should have shot that guy, so then I could have used the stress down. Obliterated. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Bad start. Does she have the virtue chance ring? Okay, she at least she has the virtue chance ring, so. Cause they're probably gonna get tested. Hey, rabbit. Hey, he's got stealth. Hey, these guys look different. Different, uh, clothing. Aren't they fancy? Give him the look! Wow. A faint hope blossoms. Wait, is he still in stealth even though he's the only one alive? That's some bullshit. Can I attack him? Okay, there we go. And he's still alive. Big heal. Let's go. There we go. 11. I'll take that. When, when the announcer says destroy them all, is he talking about my units? Because that seems to be where we're going on this playthrough. Empty room. <laughs> yep. The pack has a map inside. How much information are we gonna get here? Good bit. There's a trap right there. Oh, 100%, 70%. Do I do the 70% to try to get that stress down? Fuck it, I'm doing it because we can heal her in the next fight anyway with the occultist, so... I mean, 70% is in our favor by a lot. Like, what, what could go wrong? Easy! Look at that, look at that eight stress down, boys. No problem! Throwing, yeah, maybe. I, I figure we're, you know, we gotta catch up, so we gotta play to our outs. That's my juice. And he gets to go first. And we dodged it, though. Alright, no stress. Shoot that man in the face. Don't actually have to heal here. Could hit that guy. Probably won't kill him, though. I could mark someone. Let's mark him and see if Lonely can just end him. Of course he gets to go before Lonely. Even though uh, Lonely has six speed. How much speed did he have? Six. So it was pretty 50-50. Destroyed. Oh, 
Hmm. Scripture. Don't let the goblet guy go first, thank goodness. Except the guy that went first can't really do any damage. I'll take it. Oh, that was lucky. That was so lucky. Cause that guy had more speed than me. And it wasn't actually lucky! It was false hope! It's like when Gilius lets the kid go and then just kills him anyway. At least he threw the, the wine at the wrong person. He's still alive. Just, just bonk him. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Guarded him. Damn. How does it, how does, I don't understand. How do you throw wine out of a cup and have it actually like physically harm somebody? Like, it did three damage. Like, how, I don't know. How does that work? Boy, that did not uh, accomplish a lot. Thank you, lad. Do I just heal? Get on top of things? Stun and move resist down, that's no big deal. Ooh, big stress dump, there we go. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, we're running it back a bit. Impressive hall. I think this buffs you? If you value Use a holy point. thing? Now it heals us. Well, that's okay, too. Alright, we're right... No, we're up here. Okay. I didn't bring food. I, I, I didn't bring food. Are you fucking kidding? How did I forget? It's because I'm, I'm delirious with rage over Cairo dying. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's a long look it's a super long stage. No no I did bring food. Never mind. I I even I'm more delirious than I even thought. I, I, I'm so delirious that I thought I didn't buy food when I did buy food. Okay. We're just we're just in a panic right now. That's uh that's what this is. Cause I saw this icon and I forgot the icon looks different when it's like stacked up more. I was looking for this icon, and it was nowhere to be seen. If only treasure could staunch the flow of others. I feel like, due to the art style of this game, and like just the, the characters being really different from each other, they. they you could make some really good Twitch or Discord emotes based off these characters. Like, especially with like the afflicted thing and like that thinking face the occultist just made. Like there's there's some good material there. Uh, let's not roll the dice again. I got the stress down a little bit, so we'll just uh, get rid of that. The units are not the only ones stressed. You're telling me, man, this game's killing me. Okay, I probably should have used a torch there, but uh, do I heal or try to yeet one of these? Maybe try to yeet one of these. Is that enough? Nope, he has 10 health. Holy crap. That's a lot for a spider. Of course, they're going for- They have less speed than us, though! These fucks! Okay, the middle one hasn't gone yet, so if I get a turn, kill that one. Which one's more accurate? They're the same on accuracy. Don't miss, you son of a bitch. And then he gets to go too. Look at these guys with their four and five speed and they get to go before us. This is nonsense. Bullshit, I say.
Wow. Okay, he has four speed. Sure, and he goes first. He has four fucking speed, and he goes first. At least we resisted the nonsense. God damn it. Alright, I should stall just a little bit here. I think I should kill him now. I mean, theoretically, I should go before him. We have four guys. All, all, one of them just needs to go faster than a four. So I think I can heal and it's okay. Like, surely one of these guys, they all have more than four speed. Yeah, okay. Lonely got it. No problem. Another one falls. Okay, forget the journal. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I don't know if I ever had main character powers. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like that was a thing. All right, we gotta clear 90% of rooms. I could skip that room if I wanted to. I could have good loot in it though. Um, hmm, I think we skip it. Backtracking sucks. We're gonna have to eat soon. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna need the bandage. And we walked into a trap. And it did really high damage to us. Maybe we camp here to save inventory space. Dude, Cairo had the anti-nighttime ambush thing. God damn it, man. Okay, nice little stress dump. What do we got here? Oh, hey, he can remove uh, the mortality thing. That, would, that probably would have saved Cairo last time if we had had it. I need to, I need to train some new camping skills. A lot of these camping skills I don't like. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, well, get some speed at least. Because there's some camping skills that just give you incredible, like, damage boosts and accuracy boosts and stuff like that. In okay, we didn't... Victory. We didn't get ambushed. That's something. Through the books. Last time we read books, it gave us a, we we gained a bunch of. We, I don't know why I said gain so weird there. We gained, but uh, we gained a, a full stress last time we read some books. So uh, I think medical supplies is what you use on this. Gargoyle. I, the only time I've seen one of those was through reinforcements. I didn't know they could spawn on their own. I don't even remember what they do. 120% resistance to bleed. I would imagine that's because they're made out of stone. Weird that they don't have 200% resistance to bleed. So what that implies is they do have blood. It's just their their skin is very thick and stony. So it'd be very hard to get like to get into them deep enough to let them bleed. But it's it's not actually that you, reasonably you could apply a bleed to someone with 120 bleed resist. Uh, it is not reasonable to apply bleed to someone that has 200 bleed resist, which is skeletons. The weird thing is though, you can actually bleed skeletons if you really try hard enough, which makes you wonder where does the blood come from? Like with this thing, it's maybe like some kind of creature that just has actual stone skin, so there is blood in there. But with skeletons, I don't understand how you can make them bleed. Like where, where, they're, they're a fucking skeleton, right? It don't make no sense. He's only got 10 health, but he's got, oh, he's got a lot of protection and dodge. Um, hmm, I guess we go for one of these guys then. 
hit him really hard. This lowers their dodge. Now nah, I think we shoot the stress spreader. This one lowers their dodge as well, right? Okay. Hopefully that'll get the job done. Whoa, that was lucky. If he didn't crit, he wouldn't have killed him. But uh, that's nice, taking two of them out before it's their turn. He did zero damage, must be a debuff. He tried to push and stun, but it failed. Because he's a bitch. 20 stress. How come they don't have stress? Huh? How come the enemies don't have stress? This is bullshit. Nice. Oh, heal crit means more stress dump. That's good. Enemy stress is represented by debuffs. I guess you have the surprise mechanic, although that can apply to you too, though. Oh, fuck. Just keep looking at her with the skull. It'll kill her eventually. Lonely can kill when it's his turn, so if Rabbit goes, we'll de-stress. Oh, we can do that too. I need to give my Occultist a lot of speed so he can go before my Musketeer and, uh, and Lonely. So that he can get the mark and they can just right away go boom boom. Hmm, inventory management here. Okay, I guess just yeet the jade. Alright, this healed us. Um, but no one needs health, so I guess we just pass on it. I don't have a holy water anyway. So it might like curse us or some junk. Medical supplies again. Finding the stuff is only the first test. I guess we just ditch the other medical supply. Seems likely we'll find more gold. The good news about this run is we have made a lot of money. I mean, you can be insane and be stressed out. These things are not mutually exclusive. Lonely's chillin' though, and then he instantly got stressed. He, he was chillin'. I just had to say something. Okay, Rabbit's chilling, zero stress. It's just a day in, a day in the, the park for him. Right, we never went into that room. Well, I think we win if we just go to these two. How come, how come, do these guys not need to eat much? Because, um, we started here and we went, you know, Benny Hill music and all the way to here and we just now needed to eat. Like, I, I don't understand. I guess they ate before they came. Big breakfast, yeah. Yeah, let's keep exploring. Now, backtracking gives you stress, though. Now, we'll, we'll go to this room, and then we'll stop. What is that? Experimental equipment. I, I feel like we should not touch that. I don't even have items to interact with it to see. Well, I might as well throw a torch at it. Why did the torch work? What? What happened? A blazing star is born. What, what even happened? Uh, did we get, like, light for that? I'm so confused. I, I really did not think a torch would work on an alchemist set. I wonder if that like generated more light than it normally would or something. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Empty room. So we just gained stress for no reason. Oof. The great room okay, well we didn't get anyone killed. That's an improvement over last time. They hold. Oh, 
Huh, I guess that's some you could use it for tanking if you're not gonna if you're using it for the stun and that kind of thing. Not going for damage. Lots of money. Please get good quirks, you bastards. Fear of mankind! Lazy eye! That that's me right there. Uh god damn it. Thankfully we're not doing range stuff with him. Dude, one of my units on, on side dank, he got two negative quirks, and it was it was one where he had bad eyesight if it was bright, and the other one is it like lowered his accuracy, and the other one made lowered his accuracy if it was dark. Like it it, I, it was like nearsighted and farsighted or something. I can't remember what it was exactly, and I was just like, really? Like I know this feeling. All negative traits. All negative traits. Fear of mankind. I cannot tell how much is, is that my chat? Anyone in chat relate to that? Okay, let's uh, probably want to get rid of that. I feel like that's pretty bad. You know, if you want to spend the money to keep this, but I do like that. Expensive though. Oh, let's do it though. Dude! Cairo had faded! We locked faded! Remember? We had multiple like really good traits on Cairo and we spent money to lock them. And he goes and dies on us! He's just laughing! He's going- he's like, I'm taking the money with me, bitch! Hmm... Uh... What do we have to upgrade this? We got what we need. 24 paintings, though. But yeah, let's do it. That's that's a powerful ability right there. But their knowledge lives on. Yeah, we can upgrade our skills further. Okay. Let's give us more accuracy. It does. Okay. We need to get some of our healers leveled up. Yeah, let's go easy on the money for now. I think I'm gonna sell this. I don't see me using it. Although I tell you, you could probably stack dodge like a mofo and never get hit. All right, let me guess. Love interest? Yep, I, I didn't even I knew it. Everyone in this fucking in this goddamn party is just obsessed with the hose. I swear to God, man. Degenerate crew. All right, is that the necromancer? That's the necromancer. Oh God, I'm not ready. <sighs> hey, look, it's that again. I kind of want to do... I want to level some people. I'm trying to think. Okay, so we got our new highwayman. Who wants to, uh... Who, who, who wants to be the new highwayman? Anybody? People uh, worry about dying, huh? Okay, we got Omega. Kaibo. What we would do is if, if we would just make Cairo 2. We, we cloned him. We took his DNA and we cloned him. Might do that for the next one. Alright, so we got uh, Omega. We got Shadow. Wonder. Uh, I think we'll give it to Omega because one, I really like that emote, and Omega is here all the time. And Omega tried to be a unit earlier, and I scuffed him. Um, so I think it's fair we give it to Omega. And also, that emote is just amazing. So. Uh, what what do you want? Do you want just as it is on Twitch, or do you want something different? 
And then we got uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five. Got the fancy one there. Next sacrifice, let's hope not. Omega is fine. Three. That that's uh that's a good one. Alright, what did he what is he starting with here? Okay. It's all fine. Does it have an anti-ambush one? He does not. I might want to go train that. We could use him one time, then go train that, though. What's, let's do a really easy stage, then, and try to get him leveled. Uh, what else needs to be leveled? What do we got here? Could get D-Gen up. It's a pretty strong one. Got TG. Didn't we have a new healer? Right, we got a new occultist. We got a new... Clown boy, what do they call? Jester, that's the one. And didn't we have a new holy woman? Am I crazy? I thought we had a low level holy woman, but I guess we don't. Uh, occultist then, I guess? And then we'll bring the Eli. Let's do that. Okay, this is decent. Alright, objective is to clear all room battles. It's a long stage. Uh, it's a little scary. Uh, let me upgrade our equipment then a little bit. Let's do that. I feel like we haven't used true in forever. Okay, that should be good enough. Oh, no, we should upgrade them too, actually. They're gonna be kind of important, I think. Oh. Never mind. He's got stuff. Oh, that's a good one. Negative speed, but it is nice to not get surprised. Hmm. I can cancel. I can basically 10% melee damage and cancel out the dodge, but lose one speed. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, that's nice. If I go with that and then this, that, or we just go positive on dodge. Let's just go positive on dodge. I'm okay with this. All right, off we go. Oh, oh my God. I almost, oh Jesus. I almost forgot to buy stuff. And this is like a super long stage. Bad thing about this is you're gonna have to start off with so many supplies, it's gonna be hard to loot things. I don't know if I should be doing a, a, a super long stage with a newbie group. I did that once, had no torches, it was fun. Yeah, it's a good way to die. These salt soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. So we must do all room battles. And we got trapped, but we dodged it. All right, good start. Takes medical supplies. You get food out of it. Never mind. Use these torches quickly. Save inventory space. First, they have a fair bit of speed, though. Oh my god, 30 stress. 
Oh my god. S oh, over 60 stress and I haven't even gotten a turn yet. Let me just uh, play a little jig here. Hmm. Let's go for the big bap. I don't know why we de-stressed from that, but I'll take it. And he dodged it when he had... No, he didn't have dodge down, he had protection down. He puffed the other healer. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know if those guys even have an attack. Man, I didn't kill a single one of them. That's not good. Okay, he'll die to the dot. Twenty-five. Oh, if only that was more reliable. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Fuck, he healed him. So now he's not gonna die to the dot. Got under four health. And now he's dead. And then we can finale one of the healers. I almost called our thief Cairo. Feels bad. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Nineteen non crit though. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Gonna go ahead and ditch the jade. I don't know why I'm looting this. We don't have the inventory space right now. The light, the promise of safety. There's no promise of safety here. I hope that guy doesn't get a turn right now. Got 25% uh, damage, more accuracy, and more crit. I can't hit- okay, we'll do this. He's got one health. I see it. So it does it tell you if, they have, if they've already taken their turn? This guy hasn't taken his turn. Wish I'd known you could check that before. Sometimes that's really messed me up. Destroy them all. Ugh, I wanted to use Inspiring Tune, but he's too far up. Well, Annihilated. another way to de-stress is killing somebody. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Not even gonna bother with that. We don't have inventory space right now. I should camp kind of soon, just so I can free up inventory space. Hmm. Precision and power. 
I would kill the tank immediately. Okay, the buffed one hasn't gone yet, so if I have a chance to kill him, I should go for it. Come on, let Cairo go. It's not Cairo! Cairo's dead! It's because they're both blue! It's Omega! Feels bad. So there's, a, in Tales of Basaria, the main character, their, their brother, uh, spoilers of Tales of Basaria, but at the beginning, their brother dies, the, uh, and, and, you know, very traumatic for the main character. And then they meet throughout through the game. They meet another like young lad and who doesn't have a name. And they name them after their brother. And it's kind of messed up, right? We're having that moment right now. Let's see. We can hit him with this. And he's not dead. And the dot will take him down to fucking three life. Okay. Well. Didn't do too much damage, although he could have crit us, so then he would have pretty much killed him. Replacement goldfish syndrome feels bad. Wait, did he lose the mark? <laughs> Juno, that's rough. Okay, he'll die to the dot. I was trying to kill the tank quick, but that didn't really work out. Because we keep missing... Should it use that on himself, actually. Because I'm pretty sure... Leper can de-stress himself. Wanted to kill the tank first, but like, you know, put the mark on him so we get through his protection and stuff, and we ended up killing him last. Come on, let Eli go. There we go. Uh, 30, 31, although he can de do the traps, so we'll do this. Yeah, I kind of want deeds more than money from an emerald. Let's camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. You're not helping, dude. You're not helping. Okay, I don't think we have anti nighttime ambush, so that's kind of nasty. Unless one of these guys has it. So, mockery. All all companions lose 20 stress, except one companion gains 20 stress. So he, he, he makes fun of somebody, but it's random. So he makes fun of somebody, and everyone else enjoys it, but the person that gets made fun of is pissed. That's mean, man. That's mean. So he would gain stress. But then one companion gains 20% damage. I don't mind that. Uh, I'll give it to Omega here. And I think we can just lower that stress here. Actually, let's get rid of that bleed. Gallo's humor, he loses stress, but then there's a really good chance that other people will gain stress. 
Oh wait, no. So he lo so he tells like a fucked up joke. He loses stress, and there's a 75% chance that the companions will like like the joke and they'll lose stress too. But there's a 25% chance that they'll gain stress instead. Oh, this game. You know what? Let's do it. Wow, the jester's the one that did. How, how is the jester the one that didn't like the 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 grim humor there? <laughs> uh, never kid a kidder, I guess. All right. Let's hope we don't get ambushed. The match is strong. Okay, we're good. A blazing star is born. The jester was jealous. Okay, just the green hooded guys. A powerful blow. It was not a powerful blow, it was two damage. That's like when a child, you know, does something not really that impressive, but because they're a child, you're like, oh, good job, right? That's, that's what that was. Okay, that guy hasn't gone, and that guy hasn't gone. Let's see if we can take him out then. I forgot to reorder the team. Or he didn't die. He'll die next turn, though, so I don't have to attack him anymore. At least he missed. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Makes up for the joke. I was worried he was gonna bleed himself. God damn it. Was, it wasn't much of a heal, so I was like, is it really worth it if I happen to bleed? It's not very likely, but it, it, it happened, so. Fuck. They're both dead to the bleeds. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Jester, Jester, let Jester go. Okay, I guess that works too. Just don't bleed yourself again. Twelve, one. We'll go for twelve, obviously. Surprised we haven't used more torches. Why are there so many people here? Also, fucking Doomsayer. Okay, last. There, all effort must go into killing the Doomsayer. I swear to God, I just don't do anything that does not involve hitting the Doomsayer. Fucking end this man. We dodged an accusation. So we we, we logged off Twitter. What's got the best accuracy? 95, 90, 85, so this one. But it doesn't do a lot of damage. It's got 5 health. This is 95 too. It can't hit him though. Well, damn it. We're not getting them, chat. We're not getting them. Not cancelled. Give it a minute though. One health. We're really screwing this up right now. Been accused. He didn't like it though. Look at that. We got accused and it landed, but we killed him. Boy, Omega's swinging a lot. Getting, getting some knife action and also getting his ass kicked, so we might want to do something about that. My occultist could go. That would be great. There we go. And he landed the blade. Of all the times, I kind of need my cultist to go again.
Fuck. Is my occultist ever gonna get a turn? There we go. He bled him again! This man does not know how to doctor. He's like, yeah, I think this is helping. So we have double bleed, that's, that's great. It's still better than what it was before, but... Look, that guy's got a knife. Ain't it cute? Decimated. In radiance, may we find Max HP up, but less stun resist. Only for Hellion, damn. I was gonna equip it, you know, to save space. What can I do here? I can ditch some food. I think. I may regret that. Obstacle. Another mariner. Another misfortune. Oh my god, this is a long stage. It's almost like it told me it was a long stage. At the beginning. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the fool. Another trap. We did not dodge it. Fantastic. Gained 23 stress. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require well, only the strength to follow it. Food if you have medical supplies. Just eat it right now, I think. Wait, that's not. That's not food. I hate these stress spreaders. Valid advance is my next action and then finale. That's two finale buffs, so that should be good enough. Heal crit for six, so he healed for three. Not the best. Die in two turns to the bleed. If I kill him now, he won't do damage to us. I just threw 27 damage away. Man, that would have been helpful for that boss. I don't really need to do finale now. What I need is to heal. He just has very low maximum health, that's kind of the thing. Okay, he can't- oh no, the corpse. I keep forgetting about those. I was gonna say if he's in the front row, he can't do his nasty abilities. But he's not in the front row. That's where pulls can be really good, because you could put you, the enemy units that want to be in the front, you can put them in the back because you pulled the unit from the back to the front. You can really screw up their actions that way. Okay, we kill now. That overconfidence is slow and How are there more enemies in this freaking hallway? Well, also, can someone? Why didn't these guys help the other guys? These guys were literally two feet behind them. Like, like the front guy here could, was basically could reach out and touch the shoulder of the back guy of the previous group. Why, why didn't the? Uh, why didn't the? You know, lend a hand. Fucking treachery in here. Dodge. Party limit clearly. Wow, I thought he'd kill him.
Come on, attack Omega and then dodge it. Nope. That's fine though, he can heal himself. No big deal. At least we're handling the stress really well. Hmm. It's a bit frustrating. Okay. Go, go to drink water and then my guys just get bodied. If we tear any longer, more will come. So yeah, there's reinforcements here. Come on, let my occultists go. Yes. Lucky. Wait, that's not enough damage to kill though. Uh-oh. Might have some reinforcements here. No? Woo! Okay, that that uh that could have been bad. I'm pushing my luck by not killing this guy, but I'm sure my other two will kill him. And we bled again. We've been cutting our teammates quite a bit. I guess we'll just be happy with the 12 crests and that's that. Driven into the mud. Man, it's fight after fight in here. Like, plowing through them. Mm. Kill this guy. Limit their numbers. Oh, I can't hit that one. I could shoot him. I think he'll die to the dot. Yes, he will. And those guys don't heal their teammates much, because he could have healed that guy and saved them. But they seem to favor stress wave and then the damage boost. They almost never heal. I wonder if they just have percentages on their moves where it's like they're this likely to use this move and this likely to use that move. And they have, they have to be in certain slots, just like the player does. But, uh... Kind of interesting. A decisive pummeling. Just finale the guy in the back, although he's guarded, so I guess we're gonna finale the guy in the front. And only hit him for eight. Trying to bleed him because the bleed ignores his armor, but he has resisted it every time. Finally. That was lucky. I almost want to put him in the fourth slot so I can do what I just did and then not replace Omega. But then if you want to do Finale, it'd be kind of harder to pull it off. This expedition at least promises Sound Master, so I can't equip it. Hmm. 
I don't want to ditch anything, but I also don't want to not make any money. I guess we'll just leave it for that sucks, but uh, I'll have to start using these torches up. Okay, now we have to backtrack a crap load. Hunger. I'll be glad when we actually get through that one stack of food for the inventory space. I think there's a small chance you can fight enemies in hallways you've already cleared. But overall, I think you having to like walk through the hallways like this is kind of boring. You should be able to just jump to like the next one that you haven't discovered, in my opinion. This is kind of a waste of time. And like, yeah, you can go back and pick up treasures you left. So it should be an option to be able to do it this way. But it is kind of needlessly t uh, tedious. Especially in stages like this where you have no choice but to backtrack a lot. If you want to like have you automatically lose the light and gain the stress that you were going to gain, that's fine, but like save me the headache. Oh my god, we have to eat again? That was kind of soon. Alright, uncharted territory. We can use medical supplies there, but I kind of want to save them in case we run into one of those cork things. Besides, my inventory's fucked. One health. Oh. Watch him get an action, too. Okay, we can have a chance to finish him here. Resisted everything. Golly! I know that's like, that's like Leper's thing though, is his accuracy is bad. Not enough training on that one. Oh, shift. Well, executed. that's nice, because now I can just reorder my team and I have to deal with that nonsense. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I could use that other camping kit, but I kind of want to wait. Well, you have a lot of stress. I'll wait a little bit. Another trap. We haven't scouted a single one of those. Such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. That's probably a good time to camp, honestly. <sighs> Key would be nice. I gotta leave it though. Oh my god. I don't want to camp now because we just used four food, and if we can't, we'd use more food. Might have a food problem here. Come on, hit the fish guy. There you go, he'll die to the bleed now. Excellent. We killed two of them before they got an action. That's helpful. If you crit somebody like that, does that destroy their corpse? I, I, that seems to be what it is. It's kind of like you hit them so hard, they're obliterated. And that's why it makes them all move forward. Yes, yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of neat. 
perk to a crit build then. Okay, I'm trying to only heal for four. That kind of sucks. I'm trying to think if I have time to stall just a little bit to, to try to de-stress. It's just this guy hits a little hard. Ooh, heal crit self for 18. How about that? Maybe we just use it once. Nice to use it twice, though. He's a little high. Back to full health, though. Okay, if he attacked anyone else, I might be worried, but that's the tank, so... Definitely kill now. I want to get rid of something so I can pile up another thing of gold. How, how much room? How much is left? I think I have enough torches for what's left, so we'll get rid of these torches. Can we? What is this? The figurehead emits a um, marvelous aura. The great artifact inspires the hero, and we we lost thirty stress. And uh, we get less stress for the next two battles. Awesome. I'm so glad the new Pog Champ is is that 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 out of like even it's it's I remember so many people were against it because it was already an emote, but that's why I was so happy. Like it that that's why it was the best. Because it had already been an emote, and it was already like a, a Pog Champ style emote, but no one knew about it because nobody ever typed out the emote name because the emote name was like really, you know, long and fucked up. Uh, and so you had all these new Pog Champs coming in, right? And there were brand new emotes we'd never seen before. But then you had the hero that's been here and like earned its keep the whole time, right? And then it won. It was the best, dude. Yeah, I remember, because there were some good ones, like, no joke, there were some of the other Pog Champs who were really good, but, uh, I, I am so glad that one won. And I remember as soon as they removed the original Pog Champ, people were saying, it's our time with that emote, so... And they actually won, so it was great. So many traps in this dungeon, and we've never landed a scout. Got a debuff. Negative 20 dodge for 11 rounds. That's just, it's so long. I know walking can, you know, remove rounds, but... Okay. Thankfully, there's not... This, this group has been chowing down on the grub like crazy, but thankfully, there's not a, that much dungeon left, so... These jackasses can't run us out of too much more food. The thing is... This stage has sucked for us. This stage has really sucked for us. We fought all these enemies that are on this stuff, but we've had to leave behind so much loot because our inventory was, I, I think I over-prepared, but it was, for a stage this long, you don't want to under-prepare and get wrecked, right? But I haven't been able to pick up a lot of loot, so we're not gaining a whole lot. Hopefully at the last second here, we might be able to grab some loot. We get more of these so they would stack, that'd be good. See, these are the two damage dealers for the most part, but then the stress is obnoxious. I don't want to get a bunch of stress at the last second here. I guess we got the mark. Dodge? Yes. Get some PFA action. Not quite enough.
Damn it, damn it, damn it. So much missing with this guy. That guy essentially has five health. Dijin, let me get, does he have love interest? Uh, he doesn't, but he has Faithless. Flawed Release. Oh, that name. Uh, okay, none of these are too bad, though. He's got increased accuracy, but for ranged attacks, and he has no ranged attacks. What a champion. Dude, we put so much into Cairo. He was level 4, he had the faded quirk, and he had another quirk, that, and we had it locked, and another good quirk locked. He had great artifacts. He was super upgraded. We put, we, 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 we gave him so much money. We, we bought, we spent so much money on that guy, and he goes and dies on us. Like, we upgraded all those skills, we upgraded all that equipment, we leveled him a bunch, and then he's just like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a peace out now. Let me just, uh, I don't know why I did that. I should have killed someone. There's still three enemies up. That was not, that was not a great move. He resisted the bleed, but he'll still die to the other bleed. Good enough. I know, it wasn't even dead. He, did, he, hadn't, he just instantly died. That was, it's so lame, dude. Oh, the RNG sometimes. Okay. This one's dead. This one's not quite dead, so. That middle one's already dead. He just doesn't realize it yet. So if you die to a bleed, does that also not leave a corpse? Dare we de-stress? Nah, let's just uh, do that. Success so clearly in view. Man, portraits don't stack worth a damn. Trick of the light. Okay, I can equip this just to save inventory space. It's it's awful because he doesn't have a stun, but uh, inventory. It's trapped, and we're blighted. Fantastic. You know what? Let's camp. We're almost at the end. I need the inventory space, and we might have an anti-blight skill. Tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. Let's see. That will leave me with only two. I think we do this then. Anybody remove blight? Yes. Dare we try the joke again? <laughs> Let's do it, why not? Two people didn't like it! Omega not, uh, not landing the jokes today, you know? It's a tough crowd. Alright, please no ambush. Oh no. No no. No no! Oh my god, and we got surprised. Oh my god. Oh, we need Eli to go so he can move forward and move the cultist back. It's very important. Don't get stunned, don't get stunned, don't get stunned. You son of a bitch! Well, the bleed is really effective on these guys. Oh, he can go back too, that helps. Actually, it didn't help because now uh, we can't use our advanced thing in a way that actually helps. And we we caught we caught the black plague. We, we caught the black fucking plague. Negative speed, negative max HP, and you're likely to get literally everything else. Oh, joy. Why did I camp? Why did I do it? Did not bleed the guy. Okay, he dies to his next action. 
Now he dies to his next action. That helps. Ugh. And then we bled ourselves. Because that's what we need right now. Don't get stunned. Don't get stunned. Okay, well. At some point, the enemy will miss their debuffs. Probably should have killed the other one. Don't bleed me again. You bled me again! You only healed for two! And now you're doing four damage every turn! Fucking traitor! What is this nonsense? We gotta stall a little bit. Uh, I don't think I need to explain why. No one's stressed out though, you know, that's something. Can you undo the damage? Nope! Nope! He's just, just digging in! He's on the enemy team actually. Holy shit, seven damage every turn. Like what, what, what are we doing right now? Oh no, but you heal crit yourself. Okay, yeah, that, that's great. Thanks guy. And now we got more diseases. Oh my god. That's uh awfully specific. We're gonna we're literally gonna die to the bleed. We're gonna go in death's door to the bleed. Actually no we'll, we're one one health off from that happening. Oh my god. This is not good. There's still a lot of dungeon left too now that I look at it. That camping did not work out. And we got another trap, like the billionth fucking one. All right, you know what? We're using our medical supplies now. I swear if we find a quirk thing, I'm gonna be pissed, but hey, look, we got another medical supplies. We're almost out of food. Suddenly, everyone's low on health. So many battles. There's at least three battles left, and there could be battles in this hallway in the last one. There's, why do they gotta jam-pack all these fights at the end here? This was going fine until uh, we caught the plague. You couldn't, you couldn't find some food, buddy? stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I think I used that too soon. Oh, getting our health back is gonna be tough. And our healer gets stunned before I even get an action. Yeah, that's, that's what we need right now. I should have hit the middle one because the Jester could have hit the middle one with the AoE bleed thing. So let's do this. And of course. Okay, at least we actually dodged something for once in our life. Seven damage. I'll take that though. We really need some good- Come on! He's bled four times in a row. I'm telling you, this guy is, is in sabotage mode. What do you even say about this? We, we got like no healing in that round because we got fucking stunned.
That, that stun is like the very first action was so ridiculous. Okay, they got surprised, so we all get to go once before they get to go. Let's see if we can... Don't bleed. Also, stop healing for, like, a paltry amount. That's five bleeds in a row. H how are you gonna land five bleeds in a row? This guy is not on our side. I'm telling you, man. The absolute sabotage right here. Okay, he dies to bleed, so that's at least something. Can he, uh... Taunt himself? I don't have that ability, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. He didn't die to the bleed. I can't count. Holy shit, and now we're on death's door. Are you kidding me? After all this- I- I completely blame this piece of shit. I completely blame this piece of shit. Like, he landed the bleed five times in a row, and then he just- he's been a million turns since he actually healed anybody. Oh my god. Of course he gets to go. Like, of course he gets to go. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll take it, but couldn't you have done that, like, ten turns ago, champ? Oh my god, the bleed is gonna- the bleed is gonna make us do a death chance roll. So we- if he gets attacked, it's two. Oh my god. Our only chance is if we somehow killed them before it was his turn. But of course, they're going first when the round reset. Well, I'd, ha I don't, I'd have to use food, though, for, the, it, for it not to still go off. And then if we get hungry, then we're fucked. This is so stupid. I don't know how we can... I don't think we can... We might have to retreat. I don't know if we can dig ourselves out of this. Even though we made it all this way, this fucker just bleeding everyone to death... And we got no healing for so long, we're in, and we're out of food, so we're in a really bad spot right here. We basically have to roll the dice, and hope we get a good heal. Don't bleed yourself. Not a particularly good heal, but it wasn't the worst. Oh my god. My salt level is rising. Well, we're not gonna need these other torches, I don't think. I'm not opening that chest because it might be booby trapped and I don't have a key, and we don't- well, it could also have food in it, though. Nope. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh my god, there's more battles. The thing is, we win, we beat this one. We don't have to do that one. So there's literally one more fight to go, and then we win. So if we don't... And hunger proc. I was about to say, if, it didn't, if hunger wouldn't fucking proc, I could use the food at the next door to... go back up some. Okay, this is the last fight. You goddamn degenerates. Can, can we not, like, fumble on the one-yard line? Okay, decent start. There's two tanks. And he's back in it, and he didn't bleed for once in his life. He doesn't get healed till die. Oh no, we didn't get the bleed. Shit. And he's getting healed. 
Oh, no, he's getting guarded. That's even worse. If he was bleeding, it'd be fine because the bleed would finish him off. But now I can't kill this guy for ages, even though he's on one health. I like these dodges, though. We can double attack this guy because of the guard. Uh huh. I guess the guard doesn't work on AoE. Well, that's handy. Just are really helping us out there, then. Did we just land or bleed on ourselves again? Some things never change. Tank guarding the other tank. And then he also gives himself 25% protection. No wonder they're so tanky. Man, True would be so good here. He ignores defense. Yeah, I can see the uh, reason to do that, Arjuna, but when you're streaming this, I think you have to name it after your chat. It's, it's only right. But yeah, if you don't name your units, you don't get attached to them, and then if they die, you say you fucking incompetent piece of shit, right? And it's very different from the, like that unit you put all that effort into, and when work, you know, you work through the whole game with you know them, and then they die on you, and it's like, god damn it, what have we done? Counterattack for one damage. Come on, guys, this is the last fight. Wait, why did I do that? I can't finale now. Why, why did I do that? I wasn't thinking. Bleed for four, so he's dead to the bleed. And then he t his face tanks that attack anyway because of guard. Nothing I could do about it though. Get him. They're stalling. They're literally stalling to get reinforcements. Oh my god. They're healing, they're protection upping, they're buffing, and then we fucking miss with our heavy hitter. Okay, we're finaleing next turn. I don't even care that we screw over our Leper, just get this shit over with. He has so much finale buff, I think, so he should do huge damage. Eh, 150, seemed better. We're on fire. Look how long this is taking. 20. Two stress. Yeah, that's reasonable. I'll take that heal crit for 32, though. Alright, he's got his big attack buff now, so as long as he hits something, it'll die. Only got four health left, so who even cares? Watch him miss. Okay. Holy shit! Alright, we're at the end, so we know we don't need this stuff, so we can just dish everything. I am out of here. What a joke. What a joke. God. Please tell me we at least made a lot of money from that because we spent so much money on the supplies. I don't, I think it was a net gain, but I don't think it was much of a net gain because we spent a lot of freaking money on the supplies. Hey, FN. Dude, we could have had deaths there. Ooh, that's gotta go. That's gotta go. Mankind hater. Alright, we got a lot of nasty stuff. We gotta remove diseases and... To the sheep. What's going... Wait. The shepherd not invite the wolves? So...
I, I don't even know what the fuck. Like, I'm reading the, the text here. So basically, you can't use most of the church's services, but uh, the services that you can is free. So we basically get a stress down for somebody for free, but no one's really that stressed out. We'll do it on new, though. Oh, let me guess. Love interest? Of course! Of course, of course it's of course it's love interest. What uh, what else would it be? Like no one else really needs the stress down, so I guess we'll give it to commentary. Oh, it still costs some. It doesn't cost much. All right, first things first. We got to get rid of the black plague. Like Jesus, that's gotta go. And then some, what, somebody got, uh, oh, it was, um, it was Omega. He got the accuracy down. That's gotta go. Don't want to lock anything? No. Uh, this game. Those are pretty bad negative traits there, but on a witch doctor, it's not a big deal. We have never gotten another plague doctor to show up. Like ever, this whole time. We just, it has not been a thing. All right, let's get our armor up. Make people not die as fast. Cairo might have lived if we had had that upgrade. I'm gonna sell this again, because I need money. Um, I'm gonna be right back, chat. I need to get water and I need to deal with my uh, sinuses for a second here, so we'll be back in just a second. Yep, Cairo died. He got thrown in a pot. The second he got out of the pot, the boss AoE'd and, and he didn't get a single death door proc and he just died. I was like, fucking really? Okay, I'll be back in just a second.
I'm back. I see chat's having a party. So I want to avenge Noel. Th this boss right here is who killed Noel. Uh, but we need a lobby party to do it. Uh, and, and some of our lobbies are in like the loony bin and stuff right now. But let let's see what we got. What are our options here for lobbies? You can use level zeros, ones, and twos. Hmm. We don't have a great healer available right now. We might need to wait a stage. All right, let's see. Guess we do one stage and then we do it. And then we need to put our bandit through training to get the anti-ambush thing. So that is the necromancer. That's what we need for the main story. That is so powerful. If you if you set that up, that's that's nutty. That's like how you one shot a boss right there. Sorry about the screen going black, but I keep having to like blow my nose, and uh, every time I touch OBS, for some reason, it it makes Darkest Dungeon go black. I I I cannot. So so many games just. Do not play nice with OBS, which is so weird because it's, you know, streaming and all these things are so common these days. It's crazy how many games don't support it well. More accuracy, more crit, negative dodge. Not too bad. That's a lot of stuff. More virtue chance, less stress, more resistance to perma-dying, but then less bleed and blight resist. That's not too bad. I'm not sure it's worthy of a very rare, but I mean, Virtue Chance is nice, and certainly having, you know, a better odds of not, you know, is good. Hey, Poi Poi, thank you for the nickel. Or a cut in half dime. All Saints Day, what one was that? I need to pay attention to town events. What's the name of the town event that lets you lost and found? Oh man, but what's the, what's the town event that lets high levels do low level stuff? That's a good way to kill a bitch of a boss. That's really good on the healer. That's excellent on the healer. Knight of the Nickel. Oh, God. Hmm. I wonder what Lost and Found is. It's probably a trinket related thing. Silence in the Crypts. All Saints Day. I, I remember that one, but I, I don't remember what it did. But I remember we've done that one before. Oh, what to do, what to do. Wouldn't mind doing this one. The siren. I forgot what the siren did. I think she brain controlled somebody. Yeah, I know there's a mod that lets you bring any level to any stage. Uh, I kind of want to beat the game once before I use any mods, though, that really change that kind of stuff. Because there are some, like, gameplay stuff I really don't agree with in this game that I don't like, but... I still want to beat it once normal first. Yeah, I remember I used it on Zaw. You could just take on the Necromancer. Do I have a good team though? Oh, 
What would we do? Are we allowed to use level 5? Uh, of course not. Kind of like Poi Poi for this, because he can hit the Necromancer in the back. I don't have a good way to get Mark up with this setup. One thing I don't like about it. We're doing a cultist instead. I'm gonna get Mark that way. Oh boy, I'm about to get people killed again. Wouldn't surprise me. Does this take a turn? When you do this, do, does it, do you have to wait a turn to get whatever skill you buy? Or do you get it immediately? Also, how much does it cost? Eh, a fair bit. It's immediate? Oh, that's good. It's like anti-nighttime ambush is pretty rare. Reduce torchlight by a hundred. That's good for teams that want to be in the dark because there's some stuff based on that. Probably the whole point of that. Oh, here's a prevents nighttime ambush. And I don't like it though. You gain stress. That's so shit. It has no positive effect. I, I guess high women is really valuable then, that because you had something that gets rid of that. What a what a shit. I mean, I'll take it. I guess in case of emergency. But man, that sucks. Like, sometimes you can afford it and you're not, you know, overrun on stress, but still. Yeah, Hound's Watch, uh, we've used that some. I think the only two I've seen that are, like, good, because this doesn't have negative stuff. Actually, I wouldn't mind Houndmaster just because they can attack any slot. I think the boss has bleed resist though. And I like them because he has blight resist, but they have a lot of blight plus. I don't like this loot though. I mean, it's it's really good, but I can't see me using it. Like it's so specific. I don't know though. It would be pretty cool if we could fight, you know, uh, like the final boss or just some big boss and use Jester and build up finale, get on Death's Door, and then and see if we crit and then do that right and just like one shot something. That'd be pretty cool. I know we need to do it to progress the story. Fuck it, we'll, we'll go. Let me uh, make sure I can't upgrade my stuff before I do this. We got Poi Poi and Lonely. Okay, we can do that. Pays to be prepared. I just used like all of my money though. Okay, um.
crap. We're not gonna have a whole lot of money for uh, supplies. It's a medium length stage. We'll just go with this. I entertained a delegation of experts from overseas, eager to plumb the depths of their knowledge and share with them certain techniques and alchemical processes I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my visiting guests, I murdered them as they slept. Well, like, why though? Like, why though? Like, what, what, it's like, okay, well, you know, I've learned everything I can learn from them, so obviously I need to kill them now. Like, what? Uh, yeah, they're the devil. Our ancestor, man. Not a great guy. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Let's, yeah, let's go for this. Oh, I didn't bring the stun. I, I I swapped out the wrong ones. Anyway, this is the stun. I okay. I see. I don't have the front. I don't have the front. Uh. Flight, that's what it is. Oh, they went pretty quick. Get rid of these guys. So I could have killed this guy and he wouldn't have got an action, but I was hoping I could kill that guy because they're really dangerous. Unfortunately, we left them at one. This should take care of them now. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Destroyed. Lonely is really cool, man. Well, he's dead next turn to the blight. If I don't uh, have a way to get to him. Um... I don't need to heal. No one's taking damage, so there's nothing I can really do here to take advantage of the fact that I have some spare time. I guess they could heal themselves and hope for a heal crit to de-stress. That's about it. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. You can crit the corpse. See, yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, those guys. He's like man at arms, but bigger and fatter. He, he really reminds me of a Demon Souls. Like fat official, kind of. More combat ready, though. Got big stun resist. Let's get some buffs then. Good, good. That'll help us out. Masterfully executed. He must be based on the man at arms. There must be like a thing. They got the same like fancy sleeves, you know, poofy sleeves. They both have like the morning star kind of mace. Uh, like there's clearly some something going on there. Stun the corpse, you know, that'll get resisted. The corpse has 220% stun resist, that's funny. It means you can do it though, if you boosted up your stun, there's probably a way that you could stun it. I don't know what the hell the point of that would be, but uh... I should have blighted the guy in the back. Alright. This guy, unfortunately, is not human. But we do get our 90% bon bonus damage against Mark. He's a tanky lad, though. He's got 33 uh, prot, I see. 
Grab him. I wonder if you can push him to the back, if you can, like... Wow, that's... What? Uh-oh. Can I do that? That's pretty cool. We can finish him off here. Now he gets another action. Sixteen! Not sure that was worth it. One health. Don't miss. Don't miss. What did I just say? Okay, it's fine. Lonely's got, got moves. Monstrous size has no intrinsic Oh shut up. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. You don't have a key. Eh, what could go wrong? If only Minimal loot. Staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. There's a battle right in the next area, like immediately. Spiders. Oh, I hate spiders. At least we surprised them. Back to the pit. This is where I wish I had their dagger attack. I should have healed. I should have healed. What am I doing? There's no way that was going to kill. At least we dodged, but man, that was a bad move. A new turn, we get to go. Come on, let me go, let me go. I'm gonna heal this time, for God's sakes. Another one falls. Woo! I actually took care of the spiders pretty smoothly for once. Watch me get blighted. I just removed anti-venom and watch me just immediately get blighted. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Hmm. Camp at some point. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Decent loot, though. Now it must be carried home. Those town upgrades. I feel like town upgrades are really worthwhile because they make you stronger forever, essentially. Like even if your units die, you can hire them as stronger or, or hire it so they can buy stuff cheaper. You know, it's kind of a investment angle trap but we dodged it going through torches pretty quick no enemies though what the hell like <laughs> look how long we've gone without a fight this is a completely linear dungeon though so it's really obvious where the necromancer is Run through food again. Eaten twice without seeing a single enemy. Archers, they're big damage. That was the wrong ability. That was the wrong fucking ability. I could have done the double stun. The icons confused me! Man, we could have stopped the mark, the stress, and the darkness if I had just cast the right ability right there. I played myself. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
43 and we didn't even have markup. I tell you, if I could get him crit chance, it'd be pretty incredible. I healed the wrong person. I, I'm, and I bled them. At least they can remove bleed, but I would prefer not to use that action on them if I can help it. Oh, man. Is it over here? Was the new uh, Mortal Kombat movie good, by the way? You know, get, get over here is what made me uh, remember that. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Let's just go for damage, for God's sakes. It's bad good. It's one of those. Seems uh, chat's opinion is mixed. Damn. What's man? I'm really struggling to kill anything. He has seventy percent protection. Oh. Got rid of the corpse though. Can we hit something? Like, my god, we're really struggling here. Annihilated. He, he just called him the weakest, that's funny. Cocky much. 37, 27. Heal for zero. It had to happen. That's a lot of money. Okay, we'll get rid of the onyx. I guess we'll get rid of the bandage, too. Are we happy with 12 busts? I guess so. I don't know what I was expecting. Your bounty hunter wants a raise? Nonsense. Lonely Boy is uh, happy to help the team, right? Right? Hello, gargoyles. I probably should have done a torch there, but whatever. So they have no particularly good stun resist. Oh, there's only one in the back, though. I'll do it anyway. Give me more money. Y'all had to bring it up. Yeah, y'all had to bring it up. He wouldn't, he, he wouldn't ask for more money if Chad didn't bring it up. One health, and then it gets to attack. At least we dodged it. Gargoyles look really cool though, I gotta say. They're stonework and unholy. That's a very specific trait, stonework. I haven't seen anything else with that. We had no stress, so the crit didn't uh, really do much there. Come on. Look at their little wings. How are they dodging? We made the stone sick. Imagine going this many turns and not killing a single enemy. At least we're resisting. sure why I did that. Go for the stun. That, that sound effect. I haven't heard a lot of like enemies make a grunting noises when you stun them, I don't think.
I should have had the witch plague doctor heal the occultist. A slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Only six on that one. As the fiend falls, a fiend Ooh, two sapphires. This game does a good job of giving you a million things to use gold on, so you're always really happy to obtain gold. That's good game design, to be honest. That's an, an issue a lot of games have, actually, is they don't they're, they don't find the right balance in making their currency like feel worth getting. Kind of high on stress. Might camp in the next room. I don't got a map. Any obstacles? Watch me go all the way to the end with these shovels and never use them. Hey, it's a trap. And it did 14 damage. With a singular purpose. Imagine being a tank and taking 14 damage from a fucking trap. Who to go for? Lower their numbers, I figure. So does Bounty Hunter do more damage to human because he's like used to hunting down people? Because before he was dealing with the supernatural shit, you know, he was like, you know, being a bounty hunter, head hunting people, right? Uh, so I guess that makes sense. I want to kill him. That was so impressive damage, honestly. It would have been unlikely for him to one-shot a guy. Oh yeah, you do. We should lock that. That's so good on Bounty Hunter because it works with your thing. So yeah, we should lock that. So that that move is considered range. So I think this is. Oh, we don't want to get rid of that then. Fear of beasts. Hit him with this one. Oh, right. I could stun. I forgot. I could stun with Fishy and then do this. I guess I just get rid of this guy. Massive overkill, but... Stun, probably. Yep. I'll take that. Probably pull... Nope. Oh, he just resisted it. They really should have given that anti-armor because it's a mace. So they resisted a movement ability, so he's trying to push or pull. I wonder what that is. The way the attack looked, it didn't look like either, really. Light. Okay, I can't be. I'm. I've been trying to. The guy said good night, and I. 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 I remember when he subbed. How? How the. F Fork, do you say that name? Like what? I, I, I cannot be the only one that's like, I don't know how to say that. Is it like stay stit or I don't know, stay stit? One, two, three? You guys, you guys are killing me. You're killing me. I go targeted right now. Okay, being targeted is, is the green can't read this. That, 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 that's the actual being targeted one. But sleep well, you bastard that I can't say the name of. A death by inches. 
Ruby. Another emerald. Okay, let's get rid of the medical supplies. Use the torch. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Dodge and protection up, okay. Stat kit something. Wait, was someone was he was someone else going to sleep? And he was saying it to them? Two bed red hook forgot gargoyles exist. Wait, what? Look, I'm out of the loop, okay? We we know this. I'm I'm just gonna move on. Uh, we see no obstacles up to this point, but I don't- I still don't want to get rid of them. I, I was supposed to camp. I was supposed to camp and I forgot. I guess we just leave the crests. Fuck them. Another emerald. Crap. I would love him to disarm it because he has so much stress, but uh, it's only a 60% chance, so we'll just get rid of that. Okay, we're gonna camp on the next one. Big boys, got a surprise at least. Hmm. Does this ignore stealth? It does. This probably does too, then. He resisted it. He has 45% stun resist. We have plus, like, 20% stun chance, but, uh... It was still in our favor, then. This guy's a 70% chance to resist stun, so it's not likely at all. But we got it anyway! You'll love to see that. I could mark him. And they're really likely to go. Or I could just try to kill this guy. Let's try to kill this guy. He's stunned. Beautiful. I gotta remember that he does more damage with that ability when they're stunned. Ooh! I wish we had uh, landed that stun earlier, because that wouldn't have happened. Just try it again. There we go. The meaty damage. Please don't bleed me. Thankfully, the witch doctor can remove it if it happens. How did we dodge that? Dude's got a gun at point blank range, and we put our shield up, and somehow we don't get hit. Sure. Beautiful crit. And it brought him closer, so now we can melee him. That's good. Can I get some heals in real quick, though? I probably shouldn't. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, we'll leave that stuff. And we'll camp. Okay, I'm gonna have to use that anti nighttime ambush. I just... We, we can't have any of that nonsense. Rats in a maze. It, 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 okay. They got more than seven. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying they got they got more than seven. This won't do anything, but I'm not willing to just resist. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay. Still, we do not have a key. Okay, we'll take that. Paid for in blood. 
And we're farther away from the boss than I was thinking. Some of these buffs are gonna wear off then, I think. I was hoping to have them for the boss. Maybe I, I should have I should have moved in one more room, I think, then done it. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm not touching that, F it. Okay, battle right here. Uh, the little shits. Okay, this is accuracy of 95, this is accuracy of 100. We'll go with this one. Didn't kill though. And he resisted the stun? Oh, they have really big stun resist. Good enough. Another abomination cleansed from our I can't hit that one with the Witch Doctor, it's too close. I don't have their dagger ability. Good, I got rid of its dodge. Frickin' Witch Doctor getting the quick turn. Yep, I figured. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, no, no, no catastrophe here. Be gone, fiend. That actually might have been a net positive. Victory. But a victory nonetheless. I think we just leave that. Almost to the boss. Come on, no, no battle. No battle in there. Ah, eh, there's a battle in there. We'll still have our buffs. Just barely, but, uh... Can we get a surprise on these guys? Oh, not a doomsayer. End him! Okay, I could have just attacked with the Bounty Hunter, but I didn't want to risk like a dodge or whatever. Bounty Hunter is so satisfying. He is just so fucking satisfying, man. You just yeet a guy. Dodge, dodge, now. 19. And beat me up. Only seven. At least we didn't, uh, bleed. I love that he can melee up to the third space, man. That's fantastic. Light got him. I assume that he's the only one left. Uh, we can attack him now, I would hope. Also, Jesus Christ, Fishy is getting bonked all over the place. Can we stall? Yeah, let's stall. He's not stealth anymore. Whew, finally. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Hey, that is the boss door, so the light, the promise of safety. What if I get hungry like right before I get to it? I'm kinda wanting to Six of these is nice. Oh, there's no obstacles. We can get rid of that. Let's do it like that. The match is struck. Okay. A blazing Let's do it. Born. Towering, fierce, terrible, nightmare made material. Locks 95 stun resist. Wait, why can't- oh, because he's in the front right now. Shit. Fuck. 
15. We had all that protection up and we just get crit for 15. Oh my god, he summons people in stealth. That's so nasty. Why you gotta be like that? Well, that's gonna complicate this dramatically. Gotta mark him. If I had known that, I would have brought an anti stealth unit, but there was no way to know that! Uh oh. I don't have my anti mark skill because he's too far back. Thought about guarding Fishy, but we'll wait a second. Try to get some damage in while we can. That's a lot of bad guys. Oh, I like how that one's not stealth though. Thanks guys. Big help. Just keep blighting him. Just shove the poison down his stupid hat thing. Okay, now we can't get him with our Bounty Hunter, though. Shit. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. because I should have guarded or something, because he's just going to summon another one, so there's no point in killing the corpse. And hell, we could have had Fishy do that stun thing that removes corpses. Oh, we actually got an action before he did, though. Okay, that's good. Oh, come on. Uh, no, I can't I can't do the good one. Yeah, the mark thing's not working out because I keep having to do finish him instead. I can't get like those, those huge big uh, damage hits. Ooh. Just keep blinding him. He's taking 15 damage every turn. Heal for two? Yeah, that'll help. I didn't know he could do that to the back row. Fuck. Oh no. Should have guarded. More blight. He's Eldrith. And it really doesn't do that much bonus damage. Fuck. Inspiration and improvement. We've almost got him. Nine health, come on. For once, our, that dodge thing we did actually did something. All right, I think we got him. Yeah, get out of here. Wait, no, he's still alive. But he'll die to the dot, so I, I can just, uh, I, I don't know, point at him. Super guarded. Uh, and I get, literally, we're just waiting for his turn, and you crit me for 17. These guys. Fuck it, not, we're just not we're not waiting for his turn anymore. Just get him out of here. Will these walking bones finally fail? Hey, we beat a boss and nobody died. How about that? Okay, we don't need the torches. We can we sell this stuff? Let me just eat a bunch of food. Victory dinner here. Uh, we, uh, a mission went well. I, 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 a mission went well. A Plague Doctor was awesome there because they had no problem hitting him in the back. And uh, we got enough damage with the other units that it worked out. At some point we need to try to use this because that, that's pretty cool. 
We made a lot of money though. Not not as much as we do when we bring Antiquarium to just like a, a whatever stage, but still, uh, I'm glad to get some money. And we got a lot of town upgrade stuff. Which I'm noticing is very important in the long run. Okay, Lonely is so strong now, he only wants to do big boy stuff. Huh, so he can upgrade his weapon for less. Unfortunately, we've already upgraded his weapon a lot. Guilty conscience? Oh, my. bears the crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined. So, uh, PTSD, I'm assuming there. Not too bad. The degeneracy of the Hamlet is nothing, I fear. When compared to oh, there's a lot of these. Surrounding acres. Jeez. There, there, there's a lot of those. Let's, let's get Lock Manslayer. And we'll get rid of Lazy Eye. Actually, let's get rid of this. That's so expensive. Dealing with mental nonsense is, is very pricey. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, uh... We, we've kind of ran this back a little bit. Jeez, dude. Alright, let's put our... Omega or, or Highwaymen and get the Night Tame Ambush thing. I feel really good about that. Don't have any quirks that are that great. Oh, feels good, Arjuna. We actually beat a boss without somebody dying. What happens when you max out one of these areas? I guess if you get to the point where the, everything's maxed, you, you need to be able to recruit units at a, a higher level in case you, uh, you know, wipe like a champ. Pre net 90s dress, yeah, that's about right. I'm guessing level 6 is probably the max. Yeah, a lot of times when you send people to the bar and whatnot, they go missing for a while and God knows what they're doing. Alright, well, our units are in pretty good shape. Alright, I think we're gonna stop there, and we're, we're, um... I'll play a little bit of Genshin Impact here. Probably not too much, though, because... I started streaming too late today, and it was because my symptoms were kind of bad today, and it took me a long time to get them under control, and... So we're kind of late to the party here, but I I'm gonna play a little bit of Genshin, because I haven't played it in a while, and I want to play it a little bit. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll probably do some FGO. Uh, even if there's no news, we'll just, we'll, we'll mess around with those fights we unlocked in the CCC. Because those were fun, actually. Those, those were pretty good. Uh, but this was a good time. I mean, this game pisses me off, but I love it at the same time. So, you know, you can't, you can't put it down. It's one of those games, even though you, you fucking hate it. Um, all right, give me a second here and we'll switch over to Genshin Impact. I almost just alt f 4 OBS. I was trying to alt f 4 Steam. But uh, I, I I was highlighting OBS. That that's how you kill a stream right there. Guys, I'm really good at streaming. I promise. Just update the stream title and all that real quick. All right, let's get some music. I'll probably only stream this for like 30 minutes or something because it's, it's so late, um, but good to have some beats. Get the classic in here. Okay. I haven't even done my dailies in Genshin yet.
Hold on, let me turn that down just a little bit. Not that much. Why did I log off in... Uh, well, I guess we're killing him. I have, I have an ice team. Vinny control. Yeah, ice team against ice flower. This makes sense. I tried to kill with my E instead of ulting and I got hit. I guess I'll loot him. Why not? Honestly, gameplay-wise, Eula is really fun. Uh, she's super fun. Bido is still my favorite gameplay-wise, but she's up there. Like, very, uh, very fun gameplay. A lot of different ways to, like, combo your abilities to, like, min-max as you go. No, I, I was not using Eula's damage against it. I, I have no idea why I logged out there, to be honest. I have absolutely no idea. She still has terrible gear. I'll say though her damage is impressive for how bad her gear is, but uh, yeah, her gear sucks. By the way, because Jean is apparently not getting rated up in the next patch, I decided to roll for Constellation 6 Bido, and I got her, but it took an insane amount of my uh, SQ. So I'm, what, what, what is my quest objective right now? So I'm a little low right now, it feels bad. But um, I, I should have plenty of time. Find a leaf? What? And yeah, I got a fucking ice midget spook, so that, that was great. But hey, I got I got Constellation 6 Bido, so I'm really happy about that. Dude, I got I got the rock and roll chick just so many times. I I it was absurd. I just got her over and over again. I'm guessing I'm supposed to be on the tree looking. I've never gotten this daily before. I kind of wish Bido's Constellation 6, though, was cooler. Like, you know, it's nice and you'll do more damage, sure. But, uh, you have to find more of these? God. Anyway, it's not a really fun one. You know, some Constellation 6s are, like, really impactful and, like, some big crazy thing. But hers is kind of just passive. You do more damage when you ult. She's probably good with Eula, though, because uh, it makes you do more, I think, physical damage. Or, no, I think it's more lightning resist or something. Anyway, superconduct with physical damage is really good, so. The amount of Monas I've gotten on 50-50s, man. I need to use Eula in the Abyss just to see what, if I can... If, if, even with her crappy gear, if she can keep up with uh, Child and Diluc, because they're like my main damage dealers when I do it normally. I wonder if she's even close to that. Wait, what? Free what in 1.6? I, I haven't actually watched the 1.6 stuff. The people just told me the rate-ups aren't Gene, so it feels bad. Yeah, I'm always hoping that one of my 50-50s is Jean, but it never is. It's Mona a million times and some other random ass ones. Oh, free prototype? Probably Claymore, because I have so many Claymore users. Because, like, you know, she uses a Claymore, so... Fuck. I like that made it look like Benny punched him because her thing exploded. He lived. Can you believe that? I can't even think of what else I would use it on. I don't really like catalysts. Uh, the, a lot of the other, like the crafted bows, not really that great. 
It's okay, but it's not one I care about too much. The, the Claymore crafted one is actually good. Both of them. Um, like the, the ice one is fine, and then uh, the one I use on Diluc is fine. Here, we'll, we'll do some Eula gameplay. Let's see if I can make a team. Uh, double ice is fine, but it'd be fun to do double lightning. This, this is fine, though. Vinny on every team, by the way. I, I want I want Vinny DPS, man. I, I, I want that so bad. I, I just need a different weapon, I think, if I want to do that. Swing. Swing! Rosaria builds ult for Eula faster than Eula does. It's not even close. I, I want to kill this guy, but um, can I do this in combat? Nope. Want to buy Venti. That's the good stuff right there. Vito is the best. I don't normally use five star weapons, but she's the one character I'd use that on. Let's see if I can get a good counter um, with a, in, in a Benny ult. I can just counter inside the fire. There we go. And then they're all dead. Dude, I can't remember what it was, but there was a daily once. It was just to kill a bunch of enemies. And I, I like glided in and landed with Bido, and there was fire, so I just countered, and uh, e everything was dead. And then I instantly won the daily. I was like, okay. Always nice to use ice on an ice shield, you know. Works great. They missed. Vengeance will be mine. I condemn you. Supposed to be a Eula team, but I keep using Bido. Lol. Uh that wasn't even a crit. You do that again. Do do that again. I'm trying to get a crit here. I need to go to my teapot. I wonder if my Bido is strong enough to be used as a main DPS in the Abyss. Yeah, if you want Eula to be your, like, DPS, you need to be on her a lot. I missed. I fucking missed. Wow, they're almost dead. What? Swing, 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 swing! You're not swinging, bro. I wanted a counter, but um, wow, they died really fast there. I don't even know what happened. The gun just exploded. Let's do that again. Let's see if uh, I credit uh, Benny for that. Yeah, I'm gonna check out people's teapots. It just takes longer than I thought to really like unlock a lot of stuff for it So I want to give people a little bit of time, but uh, we might do that pretty soon 
Because I'm really excited to see what people come up with. I like how Bido just did so much damage off of a tap. She didn't actually counter anything. I should not have held that button down. That was wrong. I kind of messed this one up. not bad. Didn't crit though. Okay, finally playing Eula right here. Just, just like just switch characters and watch them die. <laughs> no need to build it up. Is the abyss bonus still the stupid shield one? That one's pretty lame. Imagine getting gear that's actually good for Eula. Every time I do this place, it's not it's not ideal. Wait, I have an achievement. What did I even get? Oh, teapot stuff. Speaking of which, before I go to my teapot, I should, like, beat the shit out of a tree. How did I miss? The first swing missed? What? It, what? Hi, guys. That didn't count as a block. Enemies need more health. I mean, come on. You can't have any fun if they die that fast. I need to downgrade my gear, man. Like, where's the synergy? I've done a little bit of the Hilly Troll event. I've done, like, the first two parts of it. That's all I've done. Yeah, like, one reason I haven't wanted to, you know, see what people are doing with teapots is I haven't even done anything with mine yet, because I, I don't feel like I have the stuff unlocked yet that lets me do what I actually want to do, so I want to give people a while. Oh, I'm actually pretty close to ranking up here. I can probably do it right now, actually. This UI really could be better. When is when is the weekend shop up? Oh, is it up now? Can, can I anyone in chat where I can join your world and buy like a rock from your weekly thing or weekend thing? Cause I, I need the uh, the progression thing. I haven't done it yet. Fruit good. Can you buy it for mine? Okay, let me uh, let me do that. Let me just get my trust rank right here, though, because I think I can do it. Oh my god, I forgot this game. Every time you why? Every time you buy something, you have to go in here then use it, so you actually have it. It's insanity. Not their best UI design, to be honest. Wait, where are they? There they are. If I use the Instacraft thing, I'm pretty sure I'll get my trust rank up. We 
Vegas. Yeah, hilly troll stuff. Awesome. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, I can I can craft more stuff now at a time. Yeah, we can make four. Oh, this UI is so shitty. Help. Oh my god, I, I I didn't go to the menu to <sighs> Let me look at this! It's just terrible! Like so many needless clicks and there's no back button, right? So you have to like exit out and start talking to her again fresh. It's like, but why though? Go buy some rocks. That was so good with the NPC back there. Did you, uh, did you get it lost? Wait, what did it say? I couldn't see what it said. Unable to enter the player's pop, the currently something, something, okay, that's, I think Zaw said his is up automatically. Wait, where, where is anybody? There we go. It's kind of silly that, uh, you have to do this. Uh, to progress your thing, like your page thing. Oh, thank god they're not all bought. I'll just buy one here. Let's see if that does the trick. I wonder if the other stuff was bought by Zaw or if it was bought by other players trying to complete the thing. Because Zaw lets people join his world uh, without like needing a request. Oh my god! Oh, they really should make some of this stuff more user-friendly. Like, it's just so needlessly tedious. Like, why do you have to put the pot down and interact with the pot? Why can't you just teleport there through the map like anything else? We just put what am I doing right now? This is not the right UI. It's this. Okay, what else is there? Place three different furnishing sets? That's annoying, because you have to place the whole set instead of just the individual items. Uh, trees are like shrubberies or whatever. That's easy. And then just get more energy rank. Okay, the set one is the only annoying one. I probably have some trees just laying around. Hold on, let me go visit my shop. Adventure time. The boar fort up there. Oh, how are they monetizing the skins, by the way? Because I know there's those two skins coming up. How, do, how does that work? Because I'm, I'm curious about that moving forward. Oh, hi, Zaw. The one before. Other players bought it. Ah. Zaw in high demand, I see. These are really important, though. These rocks. Because you can place these inside of each other. So these give you a lot of, like, customization. 
uh, over how your world is going to play out. So in the long run, you want to get these big time. They will, they, they're what allow you to really have some fun. Those thin flat ones that Zaw has, I bet you are actually really useful. Here, I can show this real quick. Like, uh, you see, they, they don't have, like, it, they don't... A lot of other things, if they're overlapping, it'll red out and you can't do it. But with this stuff, you can put it, like, wherever. So you can get really creative with how you use this stuff. Do I need to place more trees? Oh, yeah, I unlocked the thing where I can place items, like, way over there now. You, you can't do it, though, like, together easily. Like, you have to run over there. I need more of this stuff. Can only do so much with tree spam. Now that looks stupid. All right, is that enough to win the thing? Yes, okay. But you should be able to enter your teapot just like how you exit it, like through a menu like this. It's ridiculous that you can't. With Genesis crystals, that's fair. That's fair. That's like the premium currency. But you get some of that premium cur currency if you do this, uh, the, the $5 sub thing, which makes the $5 sub thing even more like value. Like the $5 sub thing is a really fair deal. And I think if the, the only money you ever spend on Genshin is the $5 a month thing, you, you'll be you know, pretty happy with your experience. You get a lot of boom for your buck and it's totally fair and reasonable, right? Like you can, you, you can save up the, the premium currency it comes with for the costumes and you get a lot of SQ over the month. Uh, and for a free-to-play game, like, I think it's totally fair, so. Add Astra as a sauce. I think when I sent him out, I forgot to change it to getting these. Although with how the teapot is, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I have Amber do that so I don't have to kill Timmy's pigeons. Because I'm not a monster like chat. Yeah, I'm kind of pissed Jean's not rated up, but at least it let me roll for Bido and not care. Oh, I forgot to get my daily commission reward. Not engaging in bird genocide, shaking my head. I just got a, a S in, in my H's. Um, I guess we'll beat this again real quick. Let's use child, because child is cool. Pigeons are flying rats? That's bats. Birds really can be bastards, though. They can be very mischievous and selfish pricks. The real damage support right here. My royal decree. I frame the first one, gonna ult the second one. I didn't block. How was that not a block? Block, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, hit me with something. I should have Bido ulted first. Although to be fair, they're basically dead, so. 
I'll save it for the next one. Get everyone's ult here. It's kind of cool that uh, Fish, though, is pretty easy to get to Constellation 6 because they gave out the free one. And then Barbara, they gave out two free ones. And yeah, they're buffing Electro, so... Good for me, because I'm all about the, the Bido nonsense. Alright, let's do the... Uh... Delusion mimic child here. They moved out of the circle though. Look at this damage. I was gonna shoot him, but uh, he died. Discount delusion, yep. That's it that could be good, especially if the thing, the fourth thing it unlocked, was like crit. This would actually be really, really good. And then just don't level the flat attack and uh, you're good to go. But yeah, just just give me... You know what? I'm going to level it right now. And let's see if we get like crit chance as the, the fourth unlock. Will we have good RNG? Let's see, what do we have for her? I think this is her worst one. That's not, uh, no, that's pretty bad. It's got flat attack and flat defense. Uh, the crit's nice, but it doesn't level any. So yeah, that one needs to be replaced. Dear God, that needs to be replaced because it's health and defense. I mean, at least the attack and energy recharge is good, but that's bad. That's kind of bad too, because elemental mastery is not good for her. And if, if flat 19 attack, like, yeah. That's kind of- wow, all of her gear sucks! Like, all this elemental mastery everywhere. Like, literally, all of her gear is bad. Double defense and health. Double defense and health?! What am I talking about? Her gear sucks! Fucking trash over here. Alright, let's level that one thing, though, and see what happens. Which one was it? And I, I've done this domain a fair amount, but it just has not, uh, has not gone my way. Oh, this isn't too bad. Is that better than what we have? This is definitely better than what we have. The defense sucks, but just level the other thing's forehead. Yeah, that's a good one. So much defense. So much defense! All right, the one I wanted to look at was a flower. It's almost good. I mean, it's, it's acceptable. Okay, let, let's see if we get lucky on that one. I haven't been collecting artifacts recently on the world map. Been lazy. Oh shit! Oh shit! Let, let, okay, let, let's see. Uh, let just don't level the flat attack. Getting getting some RNG here. At least flat attack is better than flat defense or flat health. Okay, good start. I would prefer the crit or the energy recharge to go up, but I'll take percent attack. Good 
good. Every time it levels a stat, it's 75% chance to be good, and there's a 25% chance for it to be pretty meh. Okay, I'm totally fine with that. If we got one more. So we've yet to level up anything super shitty. I think we want credit for the last one. All right, here we go. You know, that went pretty well. Uh, that, that went pretty well. That's definitely an upgrade. We never leveled the flat attack. It, it never went up, so it's not so bad. Now, obviously this gear could be better because it could have come with four stats. So we'd had one more upgrade, right? And then the flat attack could be like crit damage, right? That'd be like the ultimate thing. But uh, 16 attack is better than, you know, defense or, you know, some shit like that. So uh, I think we're going to equip that. Let me see. What else? Yeah, she had... Oh, yeah, it's easily better than this. No, no question. Although this, this did have 10% crit on it, though. But we're, we're changing out the elemental mastery for an attack up, and I think our energy recharge is actually a little bit higher. Uh, let me see, where's the pale flame? Although this one wasn't max level, so it could have gone on par with that. So it's, it's actually not that big of an upgrade, but it is definitely an upgrade. We're gaining 8% attack, 3% uh, energy recharge, more like 2%, but... Uh, and then like 1% crit rate. However, if we'd leveled this to 20, it could have leveled its crit rate uh, or energy recharge, and then they're, they're quite comparable, but it's, it's still... I'd say it's a bit of an upgrade. And we can always give this to somebody else down the line, if need be. So, uh, yeah, not a huge upgrade, but it's still an upgrade. The one that needs to be upgraded really bad is this one. That one is just garbage. And then this one is garbage. Surely I have one better than this already. I mean, th all we're getting out of this is 9% attack and energy recharge. And those are good for her, but... Uh, that's it. Let's see, this gives us attack, crit, and energy... This is better. It's just don't level the defense, and that's actually really good. Yeah, I think we just switched with this now. Hell, I think I'm going to feed this one to this one. I can find it. Oh god, I need to do inventory management. It's uh, kind of a nightmare in here. Where Where is it? Was the other one locked? I don't think so. There it is. Alright, let's see what, uh, what happens. Well, the defense went up once, which is not ideal, but it did get the attack and the energy recharge, so it's still good and has one more upgrade. I'll, I think we'll, we'll level it for now and see uh, what we get. See if I got any legendaries I can just throw away here. Don't give a fuck about that. Don't give a fuck about that. That's okay, but I don't, I don't think I would use it. Might keep that just because it's crit rate. That's almost amazing, but then it's HP, and HP, and then Elemental Mastery. Well, Elemental Mastery is okay on some characters, but the double HP is really bad. Oh, we have two more stat upgrades. If it levels crit rate, this would be like, in, like really, really good. We have like no crit damage for her though. Like, I don't know if any of her gear has crit damage on it right now. I should keep that. Uh, that's, yeah, the crit's nice, but then just defense health. That's not worth much.
almost scraped. I right, got one more level to do. Come on, RNG, give me the crits. Give me the, uh, the, the attack would be fine too, but I, I would really like the crit. So hard to sort through all this stuff. Man, 19 to 20 is kind of slow. Okay, come on, RNG. Crit rate, crit rate. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Well, this is getting replaced in the long run. It leveled defense twice. It's pretty oof. It, it's still fine, like, it's it's an okay piece of gear, but, uh... Yeah, that could have been a lot better. You know, only 4% only crit off that. Not ideal. Yeah, our crit damage sucks. Only, uh, 13%. Yeah, she's got a long way to go in terms of... Gear. This place is pretty dead. By which I mean... Alright, let's do one more thing before we jump off. It is getting really late now. Let's have, uh, let's see how Eula does against Big Boy over here. Actually, I know who to fight. Because he's, I haven't gone over here in a while and he guards a bunch of loot. I had an artifact that rolled 2,000 flat defense. Wow. <laughs> that, that, that did it, I guess it leveled nothing but defense. And it must have had, a, like, the most it could have had inherently. Whoa, almost took fall damage there. I blocked too soon. Don't got my ult, feels bad. You know what, just gonna do that. I should have. I fucked up. I was supposed to hold my E, then do my ult, and then tap E. That would have given me a lot more damage with my explosion. Need enemies with more health, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll be interested to try her in the abyss. Blocked too soon. Damn it. It still hit him though. Good loot. Does Benny's ult do damage to rocks? Not really. Oh boy, Benny not good at mining. Boy's gotta grow up and use a claymore. Can you imagine how long that would take to not only mine one ore, but all of the ones in this cave with Benny? That would just take forever. See ya, Red. I'm about to wrap up myself. Okay, boys, I think that's enough for today. We'll definitely do FGO tomorrow. Maybe Darkest Dungeon again. I want to get some you know, progress done in that game. Try to kick its ass at some point, because it certainly kicks our ass enough. Rain is a precious source of drinking water. It's 
No need for it now, though. Thank you, Bido. All right, boys. I'm out of here. I will see you tomorrow. Peace. So, I confused myself. I'm looking at OBS, and my screen looks kind of scrunched, but it's just like an optical illusion. So I was I was worried that this whole stream, I had been, like, using the wrong preset on OBS, and I didn't notice, right? Like, I, I could have been using this, right? Uh, thankfully, I didn't, I didn't do that, but uh, I scared myself there. I'm sure I'll do that one of these days. We, we left the... We, we left the starting uh, soon uh, screen up once for a really long time. Anyways, okay, later, guys.